sorry, do I, uh... Tamar? Little Tamar? <laughs> I was, what, maybe 10, 12 years old the last time you saw me? See, they do remember you? <laughs> yes, I hope. Oh, welcome home, Naomi. My mother will be so excited to see you. <laughs> hey, everyone, look. Naomi is... <laughs> Yes, are your handsome husband and sons with you? Are they back in my way out? No, they're gone. What do you mean? Where'd they go? They left you all alone. They're dead. <gasps> oh, God has taken them from me. How did they die? Were they martyred? Were they sick? <laughs> Was it natural causes? Oh, how could it be natural causes? They were so dumb. Dead? No, no way. What is this world coming to? Oh, Naomi, what are you going to do? Don't oh, call me Naomi. Pleasant, and I am no longer pleasant. Call me Mara instead, for I am filled with bitterness. God has treated me bitterly. Ladies, please, Naomi is exhausted and needs to rest. Who are you? This is Ruth, my daughter-in-law. She's come with me. Well, you're home now, and we can take care of you. Just send her back. No, she's staying with me. She's a Moabite. By birth, yes, but in spirit, she's one of us. Well, Naomi, you know she'll want to go back home with her family. Just let her go. No. I made a vow to take care of her. I'm staying. Is that so? I'm sorry, Naomi, but the two of you will not be welcome in my mother's house. I pray that God will provide for you. Come along, girls. I am so sorry. You have nothing to sorry about. I'm the one that brings you shame. Don't say that. Well, it's true. If it weren't for me, you would have a place to stay. <laughs> if it weren't for you, I'd be dead. I'd have given up a long time ago. But you know, you're the only thing that's kept me going. You stayed when everyone else left. Even now! Oh, if you live the faithfulness, some of these others only speak of but know nothing about. You don't shame me. You bless me. Don't ever forget that. Ruth and Naomi found shelter in the lands that once belonged to her husband. Because they had no more money, Ruth went to glean among the sheaves following the harvesters. The first field she came to, the women, treated her poorly, called her names. When she came to the second field, the men tried to take advantage of her. Finally, she traveled a few miles outside of Bethlehem to a large field of many workers. She observed that the foreman kept watch over the harvesters and treated them kindly. She humbly asked if she could glean around the edges. The foreman took pity on her and agreed. Good morning, Kezia. Good morning, Hadassa. And how is everyone at your house? Oh, we're fine. And how are you doing? Can't complain, can't complain. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen Syra around lately. Well, I think she's been failing ill, the poor thing. So I've heard. I wonder what could be causing that. Oh, could be anything. A touch of fever, something. A or another baby. Oh no, what does that make sense? Oh, I don't know how she does it. Her husband barely makes enough money as it is. With another mouth to feed. Some people are just so irresponsible. Tell me about it. Oh. To hear about Naomi, she's oh, back. I know, can you believe it? Oh, the poor dear, no husband, no children. Only that filthy Moabite woman. Oh, oh, how could she bring her here? Well, everyone would have welcomed Naomi back if it hadn't been for that Moab mess. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. You know what they say about all by women. They don't know what they say. They, well, I'm sure they say something. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> he will have his chance, but if not, if not, as God lives, I will marry you. You stay here till morning. No one must know you were here.
Lord, you know me. You know I want to please you. But I come to you now with feelings that I have been afraid to own. Just hearing my name escape her lips causes my heart to leap with joy. Oh, Lord, I am undone. Help me. Help me let your will be done and not my own. For if I do not, I am lost. So, as is custom, Boaz went to meet with the kinsmen. He gathered the council at the city gate to act as witnesses. The kinsmen would either take responsibility for the land and for the care of Ruth and Naomi, or he would pass that responsibility to Boaz. Before this day was over, he would know God's will. His heart longed for Ruth, but he knew his heart belonged to God. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. There's something I must discuss, and I, I need witnesses. Would you agree to, to act as counsel? Thank you, my friends. What's going on? I don't know. But I always have gathered all the men, so it must be important. Oh, I wonder. Do you think this has anything to do with Ruth? <gasps> Possibly. You know what they say about both, I women. No, what? They. Well. I still don't know. But what I do know is that Boaz has not been the same. Did you see the way that he blushed when she smiled at him? Oh, yes. And the way she sighed when he rode past on his horse? Yes. And the way he freaks her every day at lunch. Oh, yes. I just knew this would happen. You did? Of course. You know what they say about mobile women? No. What? They always show up at the right place and at the right time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? Don't worry. Everything will be just fine. How do you know? Because have faith. You told me that, remember? I do. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, my friend. <laughs> Welcome. There's something I need to talk to you about. What's this all about? <coughs> Did I do something wrong? Not at all, my friend. Uh, tell me, are you aware that Naomi is back from Moab? Oh, yes. I, I, I heard. Yes. You did? Yes, why? Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I thought that you would like to know that Naomi needs to sell all the land that belonged to Elimelech, and you are Buzz's relative. Therefore, you get first claim on this land. If you want it, you must say so here in front of the elders. If not, I will claim it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, 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 will, I will take it. I will claim it. Don't worry, Boaz knows what he's doing. Very good. Now, uh, know this, that if you claim the land, you, well, you must also marry Ruth, the Moab widow. Oh, you must. You must have children to carry on her husband's name and keep this land in the family. Well, uh, uh, yeah, in, in that case, I can't take it. It, 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 it would endanger my own state. But... It's all yours. I, I have this claim over to you. This represents that was once mine. It's now yours. Your witnesses! <laughs> Congratulations, Boaz. Ah, may this woman coming into your home be like Rachel and Leah, continuing the family line of Israel. Amen. Thank you, my friend. to love became the cornerstone of our family and generations to come. So, we 
we honor you, Grandmother, for sharing the love of God that changed our family forever. May your legacy live on. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails.
Sister Santa. <coughs> my son! <coughs> my son is dead! No! 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 Return! Please do not return my life! Just take him down, we'll show you where it is!
Mary.